India TV brings unto you coronavirus COVID-19 special show with international perspectives. What people around the world are experiencing, what our frontliners think, how our festivals, our economy, our sentiments are getting impacted. Is there a silver lining at all in the corona cloud? Watch Yo India TV's special show COVID-19 coronavirus with me Jasleen Khanuja. We would definitely like to take a moment here to express our deepest gratitude and profound appreciation for the frontline workers who risk their lives amidst this horrible COVID-19 pandemic that has encroached the society with its evil arms that are omnipresent and have not left any nook and corner of the society. Hi, good morning. My name is Sanjay, Sanjay Prabhakar. I'm a nurse in Eden Medical Center, an Eden Medical Center which is specialized for trauma and stroke. But now we are getting huge number of COVID potential patients. I'm lucky to work in Eden Medical Center because this hospital is providing enough PPE for all the staff. They have provided surgical masks for every hospital staff so we can avoid spread of infection. And they have made that each floor, one of the being in separated for COVID potential patient, so the infection doesn't spread. Um, they have, we have a special machine which will be coming arriving soon from Abide Company, where we can do the testing within an hour. So that will be great step to take care of these patients. Uh, working here, I feel safe, even though wearing the mask, it can be very handful, it can be very stressful, but I'm ready to do that but I need your support. So for that, I want to request everyone outside in community, please make social distancing. If you are going outside, wear mask, wash your hand, keep doing exercise and remain healthy. You don't have to hug each other. You don't have to shake hand. This will work, this will work and this will work. And thank you very much. It was extremely sad to learn about the demise of the doctors who were tested COVID positive and lost their lives serving the citizens of their respective countries. We are considered an essential service, that is one of the reasons we are staying open. Uh, you are considered troops that are on the front lines uh, helping us through this uh, fight against the COVID-19 or coronavirus and uh, my first request to all of you is your personal safety. So the personal safety can come by following all the precautions that we always use for contamination of any kind of uh, surface or air transmission of disease so please continue those precautions uh, in continuation of that the uh, our uh, franchise has helped us start the telehealth services they have basically relaxed the HIPAA laws they have said that anybody can use personal cell phones personal emails or any kind of contact to pursue telehealth uh, so continue to use your six foot distance from patients Continue to use your gloves, masks, wiping down any surfaces that you feel are have been exposed to patients. The only exception is the doctor. Okay? So we the doctors 
get close to the patients even when they are coming in our parking lot or we put them on isolation in their own car, we doctors are still having to go out there and do what we have to do. So we are exceptions and if we are unable to verify insurances or if we are unable to collect the copays, we will continue to do the service. This is our no discrimination law. The only point where I will discriminate against anybody and our staff is allowed to discriminate is if anybody is doing disorderly behavior, if anybody is not following your request to keep six foot distance, if anybody refuses to wear a mask, if we are able to provide them. Hydroxychloroquine, the malaria drug, which was deemed to help cure the coronavirus disease, was much coveted for by US and other nations, even though complete testimony of it being the ultimate source of cure couldn't be had. The main symptoms of coronavirus are a cough and raised temperature. We know most coughs improve naturally over time and without a need for cough syrups. But for children over the age of one and adults, squeezing half a lemon into a mug of hot water and adding one or two teaspoons of honey may help them to cough less. If they've got a fever, make sure they aren't overdressed. Encourage them to drink more fluids and if appropriate, give them paracetamol. The best advice is to stay home, rest as much as possible and follow self-isolation guidance. A frequently asked question is, when should I call a doctor? For most children and adults, coronavirus causes mild symptoms that don't get worse and don't need medical help. In some cases, coronavirus can lead to pneumonia or a buildup of fluid in the lungs which causes difficulty breathing. If you notice they're breathing much faster than usual, can't finish a sentence without having to stop for breath, or their lips or face are going bluish, these are some of the signs that show they're struggling to breathe and you should call for urgent medical help. In US, hundreds of thousands of people would listen to the frequent COVID updates given by none other than President Donald Trump himself as well as by the state governors and other local legislative bodies. A number of relief measures were granted by governments to help people of their respective countries dive out of the crisis situation. The CARES Act provides much needed economic relief for American families and businesses who are getting hurt for no fault of theirs. This legislation is to provide assistance to America's heroic healthcare workers who are on the front lines of this outbreak encompassing healthcare providers, including hospitals on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic, bolstering life-saving capabilities, including developing vaccines and the development, purchase and distribution of critical supplies. FEMA could get states and hospitals ventilators within 24 or 48 hours. The lubricant for the system was a federal guarantee that a hospital lending a ventilator would get a replacement in 24 or 48 hours if it turned out that it needed it back. This moved the fear and the risk of giving up ventilators. It also allowed the administration to effectively leverage the available ventilators until more ventilators could be made available in the future. With President Trump signing HR 266, the Paycheck Protection Program and Healthcare Enhancement Act on April 24, 2020, millions of Americans could stay on the payroll. In India, PM Modi's candle lighting, bell ringing, clapping and other unique ideas served as moral boosters for many during a typical lockdown situation. <laughs> Medical staff, nurses, doctors, we are working very hard. Hats off to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, doctors. Thank you, doctors. Hey guys, thank you. I just got back to the office from the hospital and uh, we provide some care to the um, patients online, uh, remotely um, through the uh, Zoom channels. Anyway, so um, fortunately, we don't have that many cases in the hospital now. We are kind of have flattened the curve uh, compared to the last two weeks ago. The number of patients I've seen in the hospital today is much more less. So that's great. So Governor Newsom and his team has done a tremendous job by acting early and in, in taking care of this um, uh, the spread. And thank you guys for staying at home and keeping it together. Um, social distancing definitely works. Masking on the face definitely works. Hand hygiene works. 
but don't let the paranoia get the better of you. We don't want to be the action anxious, we don't want to get paranoid and obsessed. Don't listen to COVID, SARS, number of deaths, number of infections, don't let it get, get to you. Stay healthy, eat well, sleep well and exercise. This is only my recommendations to you this time and um, I guess the things gonna happen, pandemics have come and gone, it definitely is scary, a lot has happened, things will change for sure from now onwards, we'll have to adapt in many different ways, but again, as I said, this too will pass. So stay good, stay healthy, and let us know if we can be of any use to you, okay? Thank you. Step by step, we're going to figure this out, and we're going to find a way through this. We're working really, really hard in the hospitals, our nurses, our techs, all the docs. It's about staggering when people get it so that the hospitals can cope. All across Puget Sound, people have been stepping up and donating personal protective equipment. We stay at work. For you. You stay at home for us.